Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It seems that we have uh, some dark and some and unfortunate news uh, this time around. Um, now, I will say this: we do not know if it's political. We do not know if it's a uh, if it's uh, um, if it's not political or if it is. So, be as it may, we should not jump to conclusions onto. Uh, what it would really be, but I would say we can speculate or maybe assume that it may be the case because it's it's very interesting on how this could be the case, considering the fact that of all the all the information and stuff that leading is up to it, it could be, but there's no confirmed evidence on that. Where hopefully it's not, um, regardless of the, regardless of whether it is or not, it's absolutely uh, horrible. And what I mean by that is is that Republican Councilwoman Thirty is gunned down behind the wheel of her SUV outside her home. New Jersey mother was shot multiple times in target attack while driving. Eunice Duan Four Thirty was found dead in her white Nissan SUV after it crashed near her home on Point of Wood Drive in New Jersey. The Republican mother of one was found with multiple gunshot wounds and pronounced dead at the scene. Witnesses claimed that the suspected gunman was spotted racing away from the Kamala Lummer apartment complex and a 9-11 call was placed at 7.22 p.m. Authorities say the councilwoman who worked for a Nigerian-based church group was intended with the intended target but have not given a motive. Her SUV was being was being removed from the scene by authorities in the early hours of the morning. Since out uh, since ousted the sitting Democrat, in, she ousted the sitting Democrat in the borough of Sarryville in November 2021 in a shock election win. It was not up for election until 2024, and this is the big thing here that we want to see that makes us be concerned whether it is a an actual. Uh, a political uh, political assassination, or if it's not, and now this again, as I said, it's not confirmed, but that right there makes it very concerning. Um, we have seen a few other things that have been happening across the across the country where the similar things were Republicans or who are being attacked, and oh, even Democrats as well. So I am concerned on what's really going on here, and I think that we need to get to the bottom of this because I, if this is going to keep on happening, uh, no politician is really safe, whether they're Democrat or Republican. And I think it has a lot to do as well with, uh, honestly, Joe Biden's fault or the Democrats causing so much hate and division in this country to where people are scared or getting fed up to uh, with some of the people in the House or party, and it's, lead it's being leading to this. But as I said, I don't know whether this is a political motive or not. We have to wait and see whether it was, and then and see what what is going what is going on. A friend told DailyMail.com that she and her family had just returned from Nigeria on a church trip, describing her as a bubbly and nice. Family members told USA told today that she lived at the property with her 12-year-old daughter from a previous relationship. Her sister Priscilla said she was always happy, very humble, and had respect. Currently, there have been no arrests in the case, with Surreyville police and Middles Middlesex County officials investigating the incident. Friends of the councilwoman paid tribute to her as an amazing friend who loved God. Detective Juan Rodriguez and Pastor Dr. Nilo Rodriguez posted online saying, "I just saw her this morning at the store. I remember her. I remember." saying to her, I'll see you at the HRC meeting tomorrow, not knowing the night was going to be the end of her life. I can't stop crying. She was 30 years young and full of life. You will be missed, my dear precious friend. Dunfer was a certified business analyst and a scrum professional from for Fire Congress Fellowship Incorporated and a part-time ENT. She graduated from William Patterson University and served as a director of churches for the Nigerian-based Champions Royal Assembly. In a statement, Surreyville Mayor Victoria Klepertrek said, The community is shocked and saddened at the loss of Eunice Duomfor, who, who was a dedicated member of our borough council who was truly committed to serve all of our, all of our residents. The fact that she was taken from us by a despicable criminal act, act makes this incident all the more horrifying. The mayor said that she believes that, the, uh, that law enforcement will bring this fast-moving investigation to a quick and successful conclusion and look forward to the identification, arrest, and successful prosecution of the person responsible. So yeah, I, it, it's it's very disturbing that this is this has happened. And let me be very clear here, guys. Despite on how much we rag on the left and how much we don't really like the left in many instances, I don't think wishing ill will on people is the correct way to go. And that goes for all, for everybody. We should not go to political violence in order to solve our problems. It's completely asinine to do so. 
Um, and I dare say the only time they would even be remotely, uh, remotely, uh, 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 okay, or if not uh, verifiable, would be uh, if you're literally like China and you have officially no ability to. Uh, I mean, your freedoms are gone. You're being, your family's being killed off, etc., cetera, et cetera, stuff like that. Where maybe that's when you have to start thinking. Okay, possibly this is something that we have to. Uh, we have to do. We have to. We have to fight against. But as of right now, we're not really in that situation, and. It's disgusting that this has even happened, and as I said, if it's a political, <laughs> we have a way worse uh, issue that uh, affront here. Uh, Surreyville Republican Chair Bar Bar Bailey Weber added, "We remember Eunice for her for how she lived, not for how she died. She was the bottom of Surreyville, living in America, living the American dream, overcoming challenges with grit and a smile, and always giving a gr giving of time and love to others. She embodied Surreyville and will be terribly missed by all who were fortunate enough to know her." Governor of New Jersey Phil Ferry added that he was stunned by her murder and Brian and branded an act of gun violence. Okay, so, yeah, I would say it was an act of gun violence and 100%. But as I said, if the when you have New Jersey, which is the most heavily gun, in, gun you know, safe haven, I guess you could say, in, in the country, well, you, you may be California, Chicago, uh, California, Chicago may be up for a very strong fight for that, and maybe even New York at this point, but it, regardless, it's like, it, yeah, it would be gun violence, but I don't think your gun crimes are really solving the problem here. In a way, I, despite that, let's not get into that, I think that what we need to do as a common country is try to stop the division. More of the reason why I really want to start my podcast is to stop this division, stop this hate, because it just needs to stop. Um, I think uh, hopefully this is just a non-political motive because it sets a worse precedent if it is a political motive. Uh, to be honest with you, despite whether uh, we, despite whether it's just a horrible, just terrible gun crime in general, uh, or rather it's political, because once it's political, it, it escalates to something even worse, and uh, we don't need that. But saddened to see. Hopefully that uh, um, with this doesn't happen again. And uh, uh, swift justice is enabled here. So, yeah. All right, guys. That's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care.